Biafrans and the lovers of freedom all over the world. We are welcomes back to Biafrans live media televisions. The Biafrans Ebo Prime Minister Mazi Simon Ekwa is live once again to address the United States of Biafrans all over the world. Pay attention, so watching, click the share buttons so that others Biafrans can join this program as well. We are presenting to you the Bear France Ebu Prime Minister Manzi Simon Ekma Njoku Live and Red Star Watches. Click the share buttons to extend these information to as many Bear France so that they can also participate in this program as well. Thanks you. Good evening. Is my voice coming out, Minister of uh, Communication? Very well, sir. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Bia France. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press that are here today to listen to this emergency briefing live on space, on X. I want to inform Bia France that the liberation of Biafra has taken a new turn from today. A lot has happened today. And this particular pressure and heat will continue to hit Nigeria. Nigeria has expired, and it is the responsibility of every one of us to make our future and freedom a reality. I have come to share with you today the history of Lithuania. For many of you who do not know, uh, go to the comment section, please, uh, Minister Sonny, and see how to highlight what I posted on the comment section, which is the act of the re-establishment of the state of Lithuania. The same thing is happening to Biafra. We are declaring the restoration of independence of Biafra on the 2nd of December in Finland. And I want to inform all of you that what works for Lithuania may not work for us. Nigeria as a terrorist state has made it very impossible for us to stay in our land and declare our independence. So we are going to bring the independence from outside the offshore of Africa. It is what we know that is definitely going to work for us. I want every one of you to look at what is highlighted on this space, you will see the, re the act of the re-establishment of the state of Lithuania. And you look at, the, at that document, you are going to see signatures of people that signed the Declaration of Independence of Lithuania. The same thing you are going to do in Finland, for those of you who will be coming to Finland as a delegate, you will have the opportunity to append your signature on the Biafra document, the Declaration of the Biafra of the restoration of independence of Biafra on the 2nd of December 2024. The media war and propaganda is ongoing. Don't panic. Don't shiver. Don't move an inch. Remain where you are. More of the propaganda will come. More of the media attack will come. Do not shake. We have prepared you for this day. For the past two years, we were busy molding you, preparing you for what is to come. Why the people that are bringing the propaganda today were laughing at you and taking us for a joke. Now they have found out it's no longer a joke. And they have come for propaganda. They came late. If it was in the beginning, when people do not know their left and right, I would have been panicking that, oh, they're going to deceive you. But you, you are already prepared for what is to come. And we will inform you ahead of time before their propaganda started. Now, the act of the re-establishment of the state of Lithuania, or act of 11 March, was an independent declaration by Lithuania adopted on 11 March 1990, signed by all members of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Lithuania, in today's Biafra, Biafra cabinet and delegate that will be in Finland signed by all members of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Lithuania, led by Sajudis, 
the act emphasized restoration. I want you to listen to me very importantly. The act emphasized restoration. It is the same thing that Biafra is doing this year. A lot of people don't know what we are doing. But the outside world, the international community, the European Union, the Western world understand what we are doing very well because we, do, we are not the first to have done it. Now, this act, which you are seeing on a highlighted comment, emphasized on restoration and legal continuity of the interwar period Lithuania, which was occupied by the Soviet Union and annexed in June 1940. In March 1990, I want you to know how many years it took them to declare the restoration of Lithuania from 1940 to 1990. Do the plus and minus and post in the comment section how many years it took them. Now, from 1967 to 2024, do the minus and post the comment how many years it is taking Biafra to restore their independence. It was the first of all these 15 Soviet republics to declare independence. Lithuania was the first country of all the 15 Soviet Republic that took that bold step that nobody ever did. They took the bull by its horn. It is them that started the declaration and the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Somebody has to start it. And God is using me, Simon Akbar, to start the dissolution of Nigeria. And it is happening this year. Mark my word. There is nothing in this life, no force in this life will stop Nigeria from dissolution. And it starts from this December. Soviet Union was a very strong union. Everybody knows that. But in March 1990, the Lithuania became the first of all the 15 republics to declare independence, with the rest following to continue for 21 months. In, Concluding with Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan independence was in 1991. This event, part of the broader process, doubled the parade of sovereignties, led to the dissolution of the Soviet Union in, 19, in December 1991. I want you to understand, do not listen to all the lily livered idiots who are very comfortable slaves. You are not a comfortable slave. Biafrans are known for being a Republican. They are very, very wise. Yeah, they are not that comfortable. Even our own ancestors, when they were being taken away as slaves, they decided to jump inside the sea instead of becoming a slave. That's who we are. Now, let us go to the background. Loss of independence. Lithuania was once an independent country. Many years after the partition of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth in the 18th century, Lithuania was part of the Russian Empire. In the aftermath of the Russian Revolution of 1917, the Council of Lithuania, chaired by Jonas Bazenfichus, proclaimed the act of the independence of Lithuania on February 16, 1918. Are you listening to me? In 1918, a man called Jonas proclaimed the act of independence of Lithuania. Somebody have to do it. Whether other people agree or not, somebody have to wake up and do it. And for the Lithuanians, a man called Jonas took up that challenge and did it on February 16, 1918. This is history. Some of these people who have deceived Biafra for ages don't even know what is freedom of fight. Now, Lithuania enjoyed independence for decades in August 1939. So from 1918 to August 1939, the Soviet Union and the Nazi Germany signed the Molotov Robitrop Pact, which many of you have actually heard Mazin and Bikano talking about the Molotov. Dividing Eastern Europe into spheres of influence. The Baltic state, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia 
were assigned to the Soviet sphere of influence and subsequently were occupied in June 1940. So from 1918 to 1940, they enjoyed independence. After 1940, the Soviet Union took over. After they have shared them like commodity. Germany and the Soviet Union shared Lithuania, shared Latvia, shared Estonia, like they are sharing you today in Nigeria. Tomorrow you wake up, they say you belong to Kogi. Where Igbo man is speaking Igbo in Kogi state, they shared you. Where Igbo man is speaking Igbo in Benue state, they shared you. And Nigeria is sharing us, sharing us and nobody is talking. And they thought they have actually conquered everybody. The same thing they did to these people. They shared them among themselves. Now, like I said, they were assigned to Soviet occupation in 1940 and converted into Soviet Socialist Republic. Are you paying attention? In Lithuania's case, President Antanas Smetona left the country rather than accept the occupation. Instead of this man to accept the occupation, he left the country and, believe me, probably from government in exile. He did not sign but turned over his presidential duties to Prime Minister Antanas Merikus. As per the constitution, the next day, Merikus declared himself president in his own right. The cabinet confirmed Merikus in office, claiming that Smetona had effectively resigned by leaving the country. Two days later, under Soviet pressure, under Soviet Union pressure, Merikus appointed justice because they are now the puppet of the Soviet Union. A left-wing journalist and a long-time opponent of the Sometona regime as prime minister. Merikus then resigned at Moscow insistence, making Palex acting president as well. So you see, they have put pressure, the Soviet Union from Russia have put pressure up to the point of appointing their own person who is their puppet as a prime minister that one become president overnight to protect the interests of the enablers and the vendors the soviet union then used the palex government to give the final soviet takeover the appearance of legality they have to use somebody inside always like that just like they destroyed ipob nigeria today what Mazinam they cannot suffer for many years. If not that God used many of us to rescue the Biafra struggle, the Biafra struggle would have been gone since 2021. four wanted them to be like uh, um, uh, Onyema of APIS that used uh, the, uh, the uh, um, militant in Niger Delta to become an aeroplane operator. Many of you don't know how Onyema made his money. He was negotiating the amnesty of the militant, this Asari, this Asari pig, Tompolo, all of them. Onyema was the one who negotiated on behalf of them. And Nigeria pumped money into, into his account. And he used that money to become aeroplane island operator. Today, it is where he makes the money. Many of you don't know that. He was the only one as a lawyer then going to the creek to make deal with this Asari idiot. He used the money to become a, a billionaire today. While the people who do were fighting carrying gone, as they are as they as they are known for them, were just ordinary pipeline guiding. They were guiding ordinary pipeline. Today, Tompolo take the same the same measure and the same step. The Soviet authority undertook Soviet Sovietization policy, nationalization of all private property. You see, immediately they put their own person. They begin to nationalize, privatize all the property, collective, collective, collectiveness of all agriculture, suppression of the Catholic Church, and the imposition of the totalitarian control. At the same time, free education and the free national health system were also introduced. The armed anti Soviet partisans were liquidated, everything liquidated, just the way they want to do to Biafra. By attacking ESN, a military machine American was captured, they sold everything, and Samonekba came out from nowhere. By 1953, approximately 
56,000 Lithuanians dubbed enemies of the people were deported into Serbia. I want you to understand when the enemy and the vendors and the conquest want to attack you, they use everything within and without. After the death of Joseph Stalin in 1955, in 1953, the Soviet Union adopted the Stalinization policy and ended mass persecution. Non-violent resistance continued both in Lithuania and among the Lithuanian diaspora. Among the Lithuanian diaspora, both in Lithuania, just like both in Biafra land today, and among the Biafran diaspora, which many of us are part of, this movement were secret. This movement were secret. Just the way Biafra movement were secret. This movement were secret, illegal, and more focused on social issues, human rights, and cultural affairs, rather than political demand. Are you listening to me? Now, independent movement, as Mikhail attempted to retrieve the economy of the Soviet Union, he introduced the gloss nest and the protoka restructuring, the same thing Nigeria is trying to do. All these things were aimed at making sure that they continue to force everybody into the union when they are not actually part of the union. Now, that led to the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Lithuania in 1990. And here you have on the comment highlighted the signatures of 120 something people, 24. 124 signatures, as you can see here. In Biafra, we will have up to 1,000 signatures, maybe 500 signatures, who knows how many people, delegate of Biafra's representative that will be in Finland to sign and append their signature on the declaration document after over 50 million have voted in the self-referendum. Our own is very peculiar. I want you to understand that this particular liberation of Biafra is something that nobody else have ever done. We don't have any comparison anywhere in the world. We have designed a way, a pathway to exit Nigeria that no other people have used in the past. And we call it the multidimensional approach. After the declaration, we will make sure that all the terrorists in Biafra land is eliminated. Until one person is remaining from them, we will still eliminate that person. At the end of the day, we are going to sit on the round table and Nigeria will grant and accept and approve the referendum that the Biafra government in exile and the homeland have conducted. That is where it is going to end. Go and mark my word. We will kill them. These terrorists that are coming to kill our people, Okoma community has been burned and people have been killed. Innocent Nigerians, those who call themselves Nigerians, many of them will identify with Nigeria. They have killed them. Many of them who identify themselves are Biafrans. They have also killed them. And one thing is that nobody will kill us again without revenge. We will retaliate brutally. And I'm telling you that every Nigeria wearing uniform person in Biafra land remain a wanted person. You can't kill us again and go free. Thank you. We'll continue to hunt them. Prime Minister. Till the last day, Nigeria will recognize that Biafra has conducted an Indian uh, 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 referendum and must accept the result of that referendum. Because they are going to accept this result, whether they like it or not. I want you to understand that before now, we have no mandate. As per se, our mandate is the mandate we believe that Nigeria is not working and Biafra need freedom. But from December 2nd, we are going to have a documented mandate. Mandate given to us by the Biafra people. Mandate given to us by over 50 million who have voted in the first and second round of the referendum. Mandate where we are going to sign document and make the document a living document, legal document, that will be recognized anywhere in the world. And that is where we are going to put our hand, hang our hand on, and say to any person that care to listen, we have the mandate of the Biafra people, and here is the mandate. The, uh, the drafting, the declaration drafting committee is doing their job. They are going to also come up with a document just like what you are seeing here in the comment section, where every delegate in Finland is going to put their signature. 
That declaration of Biafra, restoration of independence of Biafra, is going to come like a book because our problem is peculiar. Our problem, there is no other country that have gone through what we've gone through. Our grievances will be a book. So in that book, we're going to have the grievances listed in the book, and then we're going to have a just small paper like this, what you are seeing on the screen, what is going to be the declaration, the declaration wording of the Biafra Restoration of Independent State on the 2nd of December. And after that, the entire delegate in Finland will append their signature. The Biafra flag then will be raised to the highest level. I welcome every one of you this evening. The Biafra Liberation Army have decimated the terrorists, the zoo terrorists, twice today. The first time they came, we spoke in a very powerful language with Obuniwe. The second time they came, they collected water water. So I'm talking to you today, many of these terrorists have fallen. Thank you very much, the media team, over to you. I'll be taking questions for the, for the next 20 minutes. Thank you. Yes, Pian, thank you. Please, uh, co-host, uh, Minister Van Van Van. Thank you so much. Your friend people and uh, everyone that have came in, reach out to the mic and ask your questions, please. Be straight to the point, because the Prime Minister may not have all the time for the, this. Just go straight to your point. Um, Jaja God, you will go first, but before then, uh, Minister Jare, you have the mic. Bam, 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 you're not there. Okay, just go. Okay, I muted myself. I muted myself. Thank you, my Evo PM, Mechuko Kabiyama Puini Enile, continue to strengthen you and use you the way he has done so far. And dear friends, we give God glory for it because we are very clo close to the church food of Biafra. So please, as your hands are up, 60 seconds, please uh, do not hesitate to bring your questions, very engaging questions. As you can see, everything happening before your very eyes and Biafra is unfolding right before us. Okay, uh, who is the first person, my, my minister? Jaja God. Okay, Jaja God, please uh, grab the mic, please. Thank you so much, uh, my Prime Minister. Major Wag, Ndilos in Odo Honko. Manahe Kwetago no Dunko. I make an even if you number. Dalo, Chineke Aganiru na Kwado. Our old Minister of Information, Mazi Sonny, I salute you from here. And uh, our Deputy Raf, Vam Vam Vam. I salute you from here. My minister, <laughs> my prime minister, I really don't have any question, but I want to say something. Based on this emergency broadcast, the drug lord came out the other day to say that, uh, that they are going through reform of Nigeria and they will take a very strong and drastic decisions. And I want to say that every reform that you are taking Biafrans through and every drastic decisions that you are making to see that our freedom is achieved, that over it something million Biafrans are strongly behind you. And in Finland, you will know how serious they are to see you get this freedom for us. Thank you so much, my PM. May God alone continue to strengthen you on this hard work that you are doing. Thank you. I salute you from here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jaja. That, that's all. All right. Uh, we have uh, Adan Dimbunandegede. Please uh, bring up your question. Please remember to raise your hands. Uh, other people in the room, raise your hands, and that will make us identify you very quickly. Thank you. Adan Olama, please uh, unmute yourself. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 
Get your rest up, Biafra. We are not even a naked and a lady. Even the chess will be dead, Jim. Our time, baby, go can you? Isn't that now? Now, that day, that's a Biafra frag. Yeah, you know. Because when I do, Biafra flag, yeah, you know. Oh, oh, new Biafra flag. Call old one kind of use. Because Batobie. I got this Biafra flag in kind of use keta. Ndeye jine malo. O keta si on our every time. Mbiya this is that yes today kwa kani no kwa na social media. Whoever this nonsense woman on all etari. Uno nguye na menot. Ebo ju kwa Biafra flag. Wene me kwa mpuna alo lane. One me kite na uwa mobi. O Batobi wene na si biko. This be a flan flag in case you are a new one because all when we say change ye. Oh, be the motor. Always you could that now. Oh, but to be because I can't even I don't know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that question. Everybody should keep their fingers crossed. We are still on consultation on the uh, Biafra flag. The truth is that many countries, just like us, have changed their flag many times. So this is going to be a decision that the government has to make. But the consultation is ongoing. So just keep your fingers uh, crossed and uh, see what will happen in Finland. It doesn't matter whether we, we still have the old flag or whether there's going to be a new flag. What matters is that even if there's going to be a new flag, we'll have a very good, a very good reason for that. But the Afro people will still decide whatever flag that is going to we're going to unveil now is not going to be the final flag of Biafra. The Biafra people will sit in the parliament where we have gotten our independence recognized and we are going to adopt and approve a flag. So this, whatever we're using now, is not going to be the final flag of Biafra. We are going to sit in parliament where everybody is going to speak and the Biafra people will speak on whether they like the flag or not. So it is something that we're going to put to vote. It's not just something that somebody will sit somewhere and say, this is a Biafra flag. So. That is one of the jobs we are doing. And of course, we have to bring a very good reason for Biafrans if we are going to change the flag, to know why we are changing the flag with a good reason. So it's going to be a campaign at the end of the day. So whatever flag that we are using now is not going to be the final flag of Biafra. Like just like, for example, this, uh, this zoo country you see, they have changed flag many times. But I'm not going to use them as an example because they are a very bad example. So but many countries, for example, have uh, changed their flag many times until they get it right. They get the one that is very uh, okay with them. That does not have any bad omen. You know, the bad and the omen again. So we need to also look at the flag that does not represent the blood of our people. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but, uh, yeah. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. Thank you. Thank you.